Got this test kit for our oil change. Finally got to an oil change where I can test it. And uh, that's where I got it from. I ordered it and shipped right in the mail straight to my house. Didn't take too long. I think I got it in like a week. And then um, the link will be in the description below for uh, what all. Oh, they sent me stickers. Slick Talk. Blackstone Laboratory. Huh, that's pretty cool. And then our little one, is that a fake tattoo? Oh, here we go. Listen on your favorite podcast. Oh, that's just their business card. Okay. And then I want to look at this before I show it to you guys. Okay. And then that, that's the return. USPS. I just slip it in there and ship it back. They don't give you a uh, a paper to like sign off on what you want. I'm gonna have to give them a call. I'm assuming. Here's what all you got. I guess there's something in there. Oil analyst. That's the tube we're gonna be putting the oil in today. bunch of stuff bunch more stuff that would be all the stuff I'm wanting to fill out my vehicle year everything does it ask for mileage on oil 10,000 oil type oil added between none does it ask how many miles vehicle year make model Cool, it's all simple there. You really don't have to call anybody. And then I'm going to put the oil in this, put a piece of tape over it, slide it in here, and then I'm gonna slide it into this jug, which is nicely. I give you all kinds of stuff. Don't give you instructions though, do they? Or is this instructions? Result. Okay, so let's go get some oil in this. Okay, I've tried to get you guys the best view possible, which is near impossible. Got a little magnet that I always hope it collects something. Uh, got my oil filter right there. And then in the back, I got my drain plug. This is empty. Getting it from here instead of easily pouring it out of the filter because the filter kind of catches everything. I want to see what all's in there. So, I'm going to catch it while it's draining out of here and I'm going to fill it up all the way. At least that's my hopes. Got a rag on hand. Got my little wishbone. On my car, it is a 15 millimeter. I have 200. And 75,000 miles on this, I think. Original engine and tranny. And I'm just curious what the oil is going to say. I guess I better take the lid off of this first because there's no second chances. Okay, it's draining. I'm going to put this under there, fill it right up. That looks full. I'm going to put the lid on it. Let the rest of that drain into the oil pan because I am doing an oil change. If you guys aren't doing the oil change, you can always sample it like that and uh, just top it back off. I'm going to go ahead and remove the lid on that and clean it up just a little bit better. Okay. While that's draining, let's go. I'm gonna show you guys that it really has that many miles on it. A lot of people, if you watch my YouTube channel, they're like, no way you have that many miles on the car. Of course, we can't start the car, but right there, I just popped up. Can you see that? 275,488 miles. So let's go put 
the tape on it and put it back in that container and fill it all out. Just kind of doing it right in front of you guys so you're I mean bullshit people. Although I guess you don't see me ship it and all that. <laughs> guys are everywhere. Get the camera down. Okay. So we've got a nice sample. I also let my car sit overnight. A lot of these new cars have turbos and all that. And uh, it even tell, tells me in my manual to let it sit. Let the uh, car sit for four hours minimum before you um, check the oil. So I let it sit overnight. There we go. It's ready to go. Got some tape on it so it doesn't loosen up. And put it in that bag. That way there's no chance. I'm going to go ahead and fill out these cars. My engine's a 1.5. It's a GM model, I guess. Year is a 2018 Malibu Model LS. Unit ID, sample date. How many miles are on it? I'm just telling you guys what all I'm putting on this. Miles on the oil, it has 10,000 miles. Miles on engine, it's asking oil added between oil changes zero. I use mobile one high mileage full synthetic, which if you guys watch this farmer farming something on YouTube, that's the oil I like the best out of all his different. It's a gas, no lead, no E85, no diesel, no other um, oil type, and it's O20 contact. I'm making a video. <laughs> what are you doing home already? Hold on, I'm almost done. Was the that's in the video? Good job. Was the oil changed when the sample was taken? Yes. Are you interested in extended oil use? I do put stuff in it already. Have you used any additives? Yes. Who would you like a TBN? A TBN measures the amount of added active additive. Yeah. We'll see when the results come back. Okay, so I just got done doctoring this, so you guys like can't see where I live. I guess I make it a little bit harder for you to find me. Not that anybody even cares. But I got it in. I think I turned it in not that long ago. Um, it's the twenty second. It just came in. They sent it to me through my email on the twenty first. I was gonna make a an account this tonight. But uh, they sent it to me beforehand, and then they charged me today. So they charged me the next day, which was kind of weird. Um, but this is everything with my car. And then over here, it tells you what it all is. Uh, if you guys want to see this, uh, pause your video, screenshot it, and look at it. This is their template they give you so you understand what it is. So I'm going to move out of the way. If you guys are screenshotting that, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit so you can get that bottom part. Because this is not what I want to see. I've already stared at it really long. They also gave me this uh, thing right here saying comments. And I really like the comments. Uh, my aluminum was a little bit high. So if you scroll down here, this tells you all of what all this stuff is. So my this is the stuff I was looking for amount of antifreeze that's in there which means I have a, a head gasket but then over here it'll say antifreeze and it'll tell you what each thing is um, I use Valvoline I think or not Valvoline mobile one and uh, they say in some oils this is an ad detergent additive to make your oil you don't want it to freeze of course uh, anti-wear additive but I didn't have like zinc I guess I did have zinc but then like I didn't have something but then I had it in somewhere else. So there's like different types of detergents or antifreeze or anti-wear stuff. Now, I don't just put straight oil in my car. Um, if you guys watch the video on me doing my oil change, um, I put a couple different things in it to keep it going. And obviously, based on this, I got almost 300,000 miles on my car. And it ain't doing too bad. Um, aluminum was a bit high again. But uh, my additives were nearly right on and he was he said i put eight eighty three hundred miles on there i only do what the car tells me to do so he's like try ten thousand next time well i do do ten thousand sometimes i do twelve thousand it's whatever my car tells me 
because I think it samples this somehow. Not it doesn't sample this. Maybe it knows like the how much it's taking to pressurize the system or something. I don't know what it does. Maybe how much air, dirty air comes through the air temperature. Who knows what it does? Um, but no, if you guys want to compare this to my engine at least, or uh, and what all they'll look for. This cost me $45, which I don't think was bad at all because it told me a lot of stuff. It also told me my oil is pretty good. Um, the levels are up there where I want them. 631 out of 680, that ain't that far off. If this was like 300, I'd be like, what the heck? Um, down here, um, this is what my car was and this is what the range is. But it needs to be less than 2.0 and it's at 0.5. That one was less than one, or greater than one, and it was 2.5. Here it needs between a 6 and a, almost a 10, and it's 8.6. So everything was really good, um, other than my aluminum. And I had a th few things that were, like, off, but, like, that's a 27 boron detergent additive antifreeze inhibitors. Well, I haven't ever had my um, oil freeze. And also, that... Um, I don't know if I put high mileage in that time or not. Um, the farmer guy that I watch on YouTube all the time, he just did a video on my oil. I use, yeah, I guess I put high mileage. Um, if you use Mobile One high mileage, Mobile One OW20, there's a high mileage and then there, what is that? Do I even have the oil? In? Oh, I do have the oil in here. Hold on. Uh, there is a, ex oh, here it is. Extended performance. And then you have an extended performance high mileage. So if you're using the high mileage one, it flows so much better when it's really cold out. So most likely it has a higher boron level or whatever, boron, a higher level of that. And he put them side by side at like negative 40 degrees or whatever. And one didn't move at all. So probably the higher that is, the more liquidy you'll be. So that'd be nice to have in the wintertime use the high mileage. I'm at 11 out of 22. None of it was radical, but uh, yeah, I had 275,000 miles on the car at that time. I think I just rolled two, 282. Yeah, there's their stuff if you guys want to check it out. And then there's Blackstone Laboratories. You can do all this online. I think they'll about ship it anywhere in the United States. And they got back with me. And, and this is right next to Christmas, too. And they sent it to me. I'm like, geez, you guys could have waited till next month. I'm not in no hurry. Uh, thanks for watching.